Hey guys, time for the next project, and this is pretty close. And since it's getting close to Christmas time, this is going to be a great project for you to do. For say, for example, your mom, your dad, grandma, and grandpa, or your cousin that's probably in college right now, and get us something cool for their dorm room. This is inspired by a project that Kip K did a while ago. It's called the Cosmic Christmas Light. What he used were a set of LEDs that were RGB, which means that they changed colors from red, blue, and green. Now, for my project, it's a little complicated for that, pretty expensive. And we're going to be using the same principles that we did for our last project, which was the Christmas hat. Now, what you're going to need is a few simple things that you can find at a store, and this project can get pretty expensive. Now, first what you're going to need is a glass vase, some little marble glass beads. You can find these in the same aisle at Walmart. Some Christmas LEDs, and three... That, now, this is a little bit of an optional idea. You can get three C batteries, which will be able to turn the whole thing on, or get a AC adapter with an output of 4.5 volts. Okay? And, ma and make sure you know which ends are the positive and negative. And the tools that you can need for this project is a Dremel, hot glue gun, but from what I did for our last experiment, I suggest getting some Mighty Putty. And you're also going to need a Dremel. Now, to start out with, take your Dremel, and as you can see right in here, there's a little hole right in here for this lead to go in. Now, with that, you want to drill in there and be careful. My recommendation, put tape around the outside of it and on the top so it doesn't crack and shatter and you got to go buy a new vase. But also for you to slowly drill through. And it can take some time. It's pretty thick at the bottom of this. After you do that, speed your Christmas, your mini LED lights. Now you can get these at Walmart, at Walgreens, which I showed you with the previous video for our Christmas hat, or you can go online or go to a local 24-7 all-year-round Christmas store. Now, if you have someone that's an elderly person, I did this project for my grandpa as well, but what else I wanted to do was post, was drill a little hole right into here. That way, then you can have the AC adapter leads going right on in there, and you don't mess around with the switch. Now, the positive is right up here, and the negative is right down here. Okay, remember that for this one. You can do the same thing and make sure whatever type of LED life, battery pack or light system you have, you do not go over the amount of voltage going through. You can do that by figuring out what, how many volts go through the batteries that it requires then adding up all the volts. Let's say, for example, a C battery puts out 1.5 volts. So three C batteries gets you 4.5. If you drill the little hole in there, solder the connections negative here and the positive here. And then feed everything through and slowly pour in your glass beads. Now, after you do all that, you can stop from there. Or, to make sure it doesn't your stuff doesn't spill out, becomes a real pain in the butt to put it all back together, you can get clear casting resin. Now, clear casting resin is an epoxy sort. If you can get that at a craft store and you want to get it at a local craft store or a Hobby Lobby or places like that. Now, normally the casting resin comes in two different parts. You got your casting resin, and then you got the catalyst, which is a small container that if you add a few drops into it, it will be able to activate the compound inside the clear casting resin. For me, that was a real pain in the butt to do, because I went to the first store, and take and guess what happened? They only sold the clear casting resin, not the catalyst. And then I went to the next one, and they sold only both of them together. Bought both. But that's also a good thing. 
Normally, when they sell you the clear casting resin with a combo kit with a catalyst, you get more catalyst than the resin that you're going to need. So, usually two containers of it, about the same size, will work out for you. And, that, and it's pretty good, if you ask me. And then, just now, with the muddy putty, what you want to do is patch up that hole in here. And then, mix the chemical compounds together, and continue doing it so so on and so forth. And just start slowly pulling it down in there. Now, you'd think that would be sort of like an adhesive, like glue or something. It's not. It acts more like a really slow-moving water. And so it goes through all the cracks and fills up everything. Now it's time for you to see what your creation will look like. For this one, you use blue LEDs, but you can also use clear LEDs. Why do Sure. You can also use a whole bunch of other LEDs as well. Now, I'll quickly show you what you got to do here. Just flip it on and turn off the lights, and here's what you get. Pretty cool, huh? And look, it adds, well you can't really see it with the camera here, but it adds sort of a um, wavy pattern. And you have the resin in there, the glass looks like bubbles, and you can barely see the wiring. And that's it for this project. See you next time, and happy holidays, merry Christmas, and happy new year. See ya!